Ukrainian National Guard Reserve Major Oleksiy Hetman believes that the operation in the Kursk region will encourage partners to lift the ban on Ukraine's long-range weapons strikes on military targets in Russia. He shared this opinion on Espresso TV. Hetman also discussed the achievements already made thanks to the operation in the Kursk region. One of the objectives of this operation is to force Russia to use either poorly prepared troops or those who are not fully equipped. Russia is withdrawing troops not only from the front lines, but also from reserves within the country. Reports suggest that troops originally intended for the Pokrovsk direction, where intense fighting is happening, might instead be redirected to the Kursk direction. Additionally, troops are being pulled from the Kharkiv region and Crimea, loaded onto transport platforms and redeployed. This shift already shows the impact of our operation. We also expected Russia to launch offensives in the Sumy region, similar to their previous attempts to attack Kharkiv and come within range of artillery, but their plans failed, Hetman explained. He believes that this operation by the Ukrainian armed forces will be a compelling argument for Western partners to lift the restrictions on long-range weapons for Ukraine. I am confident that our operation in the Kursk region will serve as a strong argument for our partners to lift the restrictions on long-range weapons. To the average German or American, it might seem unusual that we are conducting offensive actions on Russian territory. Yet we are unable to use American or German missiles against military targets due to somebody's fears of escalation. Those who say that will look ridiculous. I believe neither Chancellor Scholz nor President Biden wants to appear ridiculous. So I am hopeful that this will lead to a resolution regarding the Taurus missiles, he said. Hetman also noted that this operation is shifting how our partners view Ukraine. Our partners' attitude toward Ukraine changes when we are not just holding the line but actively winning and pressuring the enemy. This shift in perception increases their willingness to support us. I believe this will result in more military aid. People are realizing that Russia is not as formidable as they thought and that Putin is weak. This realization could lead to tougher sanctions and a shift in how political leaders in Europe, America and globally view the Russian Federation, Major Oleksiy Hetman said. Britain did not give Ukraine permission to use Storm Shadow long-range missiles transferred to Kyiv against targets in the Kursk region during the rapid offensive operation. The Telegraph writes about this, citing a source in the UK government. The publication noted that London had not changed its position on the use of its missiles supplied to Kyiv to self-defence and not for conducting offensive operations on Russian territory. We have clearly stated that the equipment provided by Great Britain is intended for the defence of Ukraine. The source told the publication. It also reports that the decision on what purposes the Ukrainian armed forces can use Storm Shadow for also depends on France, which developed these missiles together with Britain. Ukraine also asked the US to use long-range ATACMS missiles during the breakthrough into the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. Washington has not yet given its consent, the Telegraph notes. Earlier, President Zelensky, against the backdrop of the breakthrough of the Russian border and the offensive of the Ukrainian army near Kursk, instructed the Foreign Ministry and the Defense Ministry to seek permission from Western partners to use their long-range weapons. The head of state stated that this would speed up Putin's political end and the military defeat of the Russian Federation. But Dmitro Levos, international political analyst at the United Ukraine think tank, believes that Western partners don't prohibit Ukraine from using their weapons on Russian territory as Ukraine operates within the framework of international law. He shared this opinion on Espresso TV. There is nothing fundamentally new about the authorization to use our partners' weapons. None of our partners have prohibited us from using their weapons on Russian territory. The only restriction applies to long-range missiles that are of operational and strategic significance. We are not forbidden to use vehicles, artillery and other tactical level weapons, Levos explained. He emphasized that Ukraine operates within the framework of international law and is entitled to use various methods to defend against Russian aggression. We are not prohibited from using vehicles, artillery and other types of weapons as we act in accordance with international law. We have the right to use various means to repel Russia's aggression. Moreover, for the West, the weapons we use on Russian territory do not carry significant symbolic meaning and are not deployed deep within Russian territories, he added.